Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post for them. I am out by the gravesite at the moment doing a little bit of land clearance, mainly because I, well, I could do with the obsidian, but mainly because I think that we're going to die at some point soon. The reason that I think we're going to die at some point soon is whilst I've been out here, every now and then something comes along to uh, ruin my day. A couple of creepers have crept up on me, a zombie, a few things like this. And I'm finally down to the point where you will see this is the only... Um, only clip I have, and I do not believe it is actually for this weapon. At no point has it been used for... Oh, look, there's a, a floating something up there. At no point has it been used for reloading my weapon, so I'm assuming that is for a different type of gun, which to me means we are in need of a, uh, a gun room, an armory, somewhere where we can go and make some stuff. So I think we are going to take a small trek back to mine once we have finished this, uh, and I'm going to pick out a, a small area where we can make a little hole in our base and have some room for an armory. It's about here that I've realised I've made a grave error in my method of thinking. Uh, so for some reason I thought, hey, rip out everything here, use a load of sticky pistons and make a secret doorway. But that is vanilla Minecraft, I think, and that, that is rubbish. So one of the main reasons that I really have to do something else, we put down a, a torch there and we go and put a sticky piston on top of it. Oh, this time it works. Hang about this. There we go. You cannot have floating pistons this is this is a uh, a bit of a drawback but you know also a restriction that we need to think our way around in this game now that's fine because there is something else in the book that we've not really been ignoring but have been neglecting the whole time we've been here uh, if we have a look don't drop the soap tired of dropping your items on the ground when you close a craft bench for this you need to make a workbench notice the e there that really spun me out when i was searching stuff his handiwork surface can also be access to the inventory of an adjudant, okay, that, adjudant adjacent chest or furnace. Okay, so that means carpenter's stuff, right? I, I hope this means carpenter's stuff. I think this means carpenter's stuff. Uh, so if we just, um, I don't know, go and do this. If Up here is the workbench. So we need a crafting table, surround it with wood, and have a bench at the bottom. So we, we can do that. We can do one of these. Uh, this, this, and all the way over. No? Oh, I got it the wrong way around. That, that's alright. These things happen. These things happen. And we've got ourselves a workbench, which hopefully should be a crafting task. Amazing. We get to pick one of these. Now, I have no idea which one is going to be the best here. Um, so, I think I'm maybe going to go for the quarter hut. Of course. I mean, like everything else we can make. Uh, the workbench... For now, it's going to get put here. This is not its final rest. Oh, wow, it's a single punch. This is not its favourite rest uh, final resting place. I have no idea what that does, and I have no idea what these do. But it does mean we can now make a carpenter's door, and I will be back in a bit, possibly after I've made all the tools. And make some carpenter's blocks. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this was the next quest in the line. As you can see, a quest with one unclaimed reward. Let's... Use the book as we're supposed to use it. And we get all this stuff with an extra heart. But I don't think we want that extra heart. Do we want a carpenter's safe, a carpenter's... A, a stack of carpenter's blocks? That's quite... That, oh, they're even going to give me the carpenter's door. Or do we want the elite scope? You know what, I want that heart. Did I have enough room? I did. I am going to eat this heart because it just needs eating. Boom. Another thing that I was going to do. We've collected a full heart over the course of quests. So... Boom, we are now above what we had when we started this game. I feel good, I feel happy, I definitely feel like this is uh, something good. Another thing that I want to point out to you guys, can we, can we do it in the dark? Out there you will see that the algae that I planted is going 
absolutely nuts. Absolutely crazy. So every now and then I'll go around and pick some up. Because if we can run over here, I process both it and all the food that goes wrong. Let's, let's start that up. What are we going to get first? We've got a bit of protein there. This is what we're after. We're after the proteins. As well as the triglycerides, because I eat those. They're, they're good. But mainly we are after these proteins. Because in the quest book, there is a renewable extra life mission. Here we go. Uh, and it's this protein one. It's all about building yourself a raw meat clone. Uh, so I'm working on that. Over here, we have our protein uh, protein store. And if we check the very top thing at the top, top, top of my screen there, you'll see we've got 59. So we are over halfway to being able to make a, uh, a protein person. Yeah, protein person? Is, is that right? Okay, let's see what the uh, the next quest is in this carpenter's life. Oh, I was really hoping we would have another one there. But we now have this carpenter's door. So we're going to go see exactly what we can do with this. Now, the main reason I'm putting this right here. yeah, uh, And let's try and get this looking somewhat reasonable. Uh, so I'm going to need a scrap lock. Always need a scrap block. Uh, and we need to kind of fill in this space that I've made here because, you know, that was all mistakes. Uh, I suppose mistakes are a bit strong, you know. We've definitely got some room to do stuff with. Uh, so once we've filled all this in... Oh, another, another time for a scrap block. I want an empty hand to right-click this with. <clears throat> once we've filled all this in, we can start thinking about where we're going to put these final bits. Like, I'd like to put that on the bottom and that in the middle. Now, there is a way to make this door almost disappear in the background it's, oh, I'm not going to be able to hang a torch right there are we okay we'll have to do that like that and we'll, we'll figure something out uh, but that involves the carpenter's hammer I believe which is this one over here which is three iron ingots maybe, maybe I should have taken that for the quest okay let's go see if we've got three iron ingots kicking around we should have a, a cup or at least uh, enough in here to make some ah uh, Ah, and then over here, we're also down to our last 35. Okay, so this, this is no B. This is what I've been doing every time uh, I've been reaching this scenario. Pull out a couple of stacks of cobble. Uh, let's go pop them back here. And then just stand in front of this thing for ages, uh, watching these fill up. There's more triglycerides there. Um, and basically just taking out all these um, elements down the bottom here. The reason I'm taking the elements out rather than the uh, iron oxide threes is because of the way they stack uh, when we get out to start putting things in. Like, to, to demonstrate what I was just meaning, when I do that, it puts another element in my hand, which is amazing. I, I, I can't remember which uh, like inventory tweak mod we've got running here at the moment, but I fully approve of this. Uh, that was not the one we want. So we're going to have some pyrite which i'm going to pop back in now we could put the iron three oxide out and back in but i have been using it for uh oh look oh that's chlorophyll okay but i've been using it for uh making redstone as you can see up here all right so with these in hand i should be able to make look at that three three iron ingots that'd be oh i've got to take the book out got to take the book out has it has it stolen my stuff now this is the question it looks like it keeps stealing my stuff uh let's come out and back in that. They just love it when it does those sort of things. Okay, down here we have a workbench. It's not the workbench that we've got up top, but there's the hammer. Okay, now, one of these buttons should do what I'm looking for. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's that. You would never know, aside from the fact that I've moved these to the outside for here, but that could be for any reason. And what a long route that was to set up a secret room. Oh, obviously it has to be secret because that's where we're going to put our gun stuff. Uh, next job is to, you know, make this room usable. Maybe we're going to have a, a down bit here as I have made so much uh, so much space down here. But yeah, we'll figure out what's going on. I need to go empty my inventory, make some more iron, stuff like that. And one entire day later, at least real world day later, and I have done this. I kind of like it. There are some bits that I'm still unsure of. Like, I don't know what to do with this. I just didn't want it to be, I don't know, a set of stairs leading up or something like that. So I'm going to think hard on what we've got there. I also don't know what to do with the ceiling or this little dead zone here. But th these are things we wouldn't even notice if I didn't point them out, really. Uh, the stairs are uh, definitely a uh, 
thing, though. But we are not here to do this. We are here to do the next of our amazing quests. Uh, not that one. That's the uh, the basic tech. That is the one that I feel like I should actually really be working on, but I, I'm not because I want to do this gun, gun modification table. So if we come into here and uh, have a look at gun mod. Boom. It's... Uh, quite expensive we could say quite expensive we need, need a cauldron and five ingots i will be honest with you here guys i don't know exactly if i've got enough i've collected all my iron up here uh, so we're gonna do a shift click and see what we got 14 it might might be enough i don't know i processed a whole load of iron up so uh oh ah brilliant we can now we find out whether it's like shaped gun modification table Awesome, wonderful, it's top stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look in here. Let's see if we can collect us a reward. We've got an energy cell. Uh, and now, do we want the scope? Do we want the stock? Do we want the grip? Or do we want the lens? I have no idea what the elite lens is going to do. Uh, I think we're going to go for the scope today because we've, we've missed it twice on, um, on quests. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm sure many of you out there have many things to say about the uh, rewards that I'm grabbing. And please do let me know what I've done so terribly, terribly wrong and what I need to improve. Boom. Okay, that, that is a horrible way of doing it. Uh, we've got this. Does that go in the middle? Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, brilliantly. Uh, I presume the scope goes on top. All right, awesome. And then we just take it out of here. No, do we take it out of here? Is that done? It's got the energy. It's got the scope on there. Let's have a look now. Oh, that was not the button I wanted to press. Oh, will you look at this? Will you look at it? I've got to say, whoever did this gun mod, I know that it follows the whole right click to fire on your bow thing, but the gun system just seems set up in completely the wrong direction. When I when I want to fire, when I want to aim, I end up firing. When I want to do stuff. Uh, like, yeah, see, see how confusing it is. See how confusing it is. All right, another thing we're going to do whilst you're here is I've been slowly sort of breeding these things across. Uh, so we're going to see where we are on the seeds at this present moment in time. What I've been doing is just kind of like potting them straight away. Straight away. I cannot believe how quickly these things happen. Uh, I've been knocking this kind of back and forth from one corner to the other so you see how I've got this growth cycle going this way. When it gets to the side, I will then break everything and go back the other way. Uh, which means we have like varying degrees of excitement when I go to uh, analyse these seeds. Sometimes it's uh, well, in this case, they're both the same because they've stacked. Uh, a lot of the times they're not. So let's have a look. What have we got here? That's what we started with. Oh, that is actually what we started with. So nothing could have happened from that. Is it this one? Look at that. There we go. That's the best we've got so far on the potatoes. I should really be growing uh, more of the others and getting some crossbreeding and stuff going. But I am much more interested in doing this gun stuff at the moment. Because, you know, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Well, that's what I feel like we need to be doing. Uh, so hopefully now somewhere in the book... Let's bring this back. It will say somewhere about how to make some ammo firepower. No. You can build a rifle version of your blaster to increase your base accuracy and damage. Be sure to load this weapon with ammo before you put it into the gun mod table. Okay, so the AB9. Uh, I think what we should probably do is first have a look in here and see if there is... Now, what were they? Were they energy cells? Were they some... Energy. Um, I think they're here somewhere. There they are. Energy cell. How do we make these? Two bits of redstone and some iron. Nut Can we do it with tin? I'd be much more help, much more uh, grateful if we could do it with tin. I've got so much tin. Very little iron. Very little iron. Okay, so we do that. Uh, I should have some redstone here. Yeah, look at that. Lots of redstone there. Uh, and I think what we're gonna do is possibly move some of this stuff to the secret room down below. Because uh, obviously, you know, coming out here to do all this, not the best. Okay, so that was how you make reloadings. Okay, that, that's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we've got an odd number of nuggets now. That's slightly annoying. You know what, can we throw that in there? We can. Brilliant. Okay, I have no idea if that lost me iron. I think it may have. I think it may have. All right, I'm going to go put my redstone away, and I will be back with the next thing that we are going to do, which actually is probably going to start thinking about some of this basic tech stuff, because, you know what, our iron situation would be a lot better if we had this cobble generator set up to be feeding straight into uh, into this thing here, and then have a little pipe taking stuff away and dumping it all in the back of here. That, that would be the ideal... There's a hole in my roof. Hang about, we might we might go and have to check something out. Um, 
Oh, yeah, and this is the other thing we need to do down in the secret room. There appears to be some sort of bug infestation. Which, if my scoop is there, we will go figure that out as well. But first, I want to go have a look in that hole there. Uh, let, let's go and see what's happened. Uh, I was fighting a number of silverfish here. I think I've got the footage. I will put that on screen probably right about now. Uh, and so I'm expecting there to be a few holes. But where where did they go through? Where I can't I can't actually see anything around this way. I've been meaning to come through here and um, make this place a little safer for a while now. So maybe this is something I should do. I'm going to grab my stack of, st stack of scrap blocks. And let's go up and have a look. Let's go up and have a look. Um, yeah, look at that. That's horrible. Uh, thankfully, it only goes back that far. So I must have been jumped at some other point. Uh, we'll just throw a scrap rock. Scrap rock? Scrap, scrap block in there for now. Uh, I'll grab one of these. Fill that in. Oh, this should be obsidian. Blatantly, all oh, this should be obsidian. Okay, and we're going to go on a bit of a treasure hunt. Because down here, somewhere about here. No, uh, should we go back a bit? There we go. Some kind of bugs likes to uh, likes to stick us. Now, I don't know whereabouts they're going to be. So we're going to just kind of start digging around in random directions, hoping to find something. Uh, the bugs stinging us is good. Uh, we're trying to look for the nausea state, and then we know we're getting close to it. Um, not not ideal, though. Uh, we might be a little bit high. We might be a little bit low. Uh, I don't think we're going to be low because there's, like, stuff above us. Okay, so we've lost the stinging sensation. So it's got to be somewhere around here. So let's try down this way. Um, it could be somewhere down here. I don't know. It's going to be a fun game of just going around. Oh, bugs are swarming and stuff. Okay, this is good. Well, this is uh, interesting. It's going to be very interesting. I'm not sure where the best way to find these would be. Um, bees are swarming and stinging. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. We might have to do a little bit of digging off camera until I can find it. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to just hear me trying to make up bollocks to, uh, to fill up space. There it is. I knew it would be around here somewhere. Um, I was just about to start doing the little 2x2 two two strip mining thing. Oh wow, this is uh, a bit nauseous and inducing, but we can deal with that. Alright, just scoop it up and then it will go away. Boom. Well, that's the plan anyway. So we've got some rock bees. This is fine. I do believe we've already got some rocky bees. Uh, so I think that means next time we will be... Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh be working on our trees and bees because outside no there's more look some kind of bug just stung me well next time we're going to be finding that because uh th this is the one that i really want to stop actually attacking us so that we can come up here and do stuff uh, i will be also working on my tree and bee layout that's going to be outside i'm thinking that at some point very soon we want to start thinking about Ooh. having a house of some description here. I mean, living in a hole, it's very nice, but this could very easily just be the basement layer to a, to a beautiful designed house up here. I'm not saying that I'm going to design a beautiful house, but I am going to try, and I will see you when we're going to do that. Bye! I've got someone else's head on.